Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a good opportunity for our kids to play uh, a quality program. You know, not just a quality team, but a quality program. Uh, they're they're awful good. They've got inside uh, with Agumake, who's, you know, in my opinion, maybe the number one WNBA draft pick this year. Um, they've got very good guards who will push the ball up. They're very smart. They run the heck out of that triangle offense. And, um, you know, they have some quick hitters on top of that. So, you know, for us, I mean, we got to be ready for everything. We've got to play uh, very high level of basketball. We can't turn the ball over. Uh, we've got to execute, set good screens. Uh, and, you know, Stanford is going to score, but we have to make them work for everything. You know, they, we know that they're going to make us work. And uh, we have to make Stanford work, whether they, you know, shoot it and hit a shot or, you know, they pass it into the post. We've got to make it difficult for them. So they, you know, they, it gives us a chance. Yeah, you know, we've broke some stuff down Monday, Tuesday. We had a real tough and hard practice on Wednesday. Uh, yesterday they had off. You know, we had a couple of sick kids and a couple of finals. Um, you know, we still have three days. Uh, we'll go hard today, hard tomorrow, get on a plane, go hard at Stanford. Uh, and then, you know, it's time to lace it up and play. But, uh, you know, we, they, they, they're looking forward to it. They're excited. Um, and, you know, we've got to get a couple of kids healthy. We have one kid that's sick right now who – uh, is at home resting, and I think she'll be fine, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and just send her to bed the next couple of days and, you know, Ed Brooke. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, she felt great Wednesday and then relapsed yesterday. So I said, look, just stay in bed for two days. Your finals are done. Uh, actually, she had one this morning, so probably about 30% of, of Brooke took that final. <laughs> um, poor thing. But, you know what, she'll be okay. She's getting nursed pretty well. Yeah, and, you know, you have to go into it that way. You know, you go in there and work hard. Uh, leave everything out on the floor. You know, limit your mistakes. Um, play as hard as you can the time you're out there. Cheer your teammates on when you're on the bench. Uh, stay focused when you're on the bench, knowing that you're going to go in because, I mean, a lot of people are going to play. And it is. It's, it's about going down there and playing as hard as you can. And any time you do that, you can give yourself a chance. And if they leave it out on the floor, I can live with the results as long as they go hard and play hard. Um, actually, she was feeling better. She'll see the doctor again today. Uh, so, you know, the progression is still, you know, you have to get her in. And, you know, she'll travel to Stanford, uh, but it's, it's highly unlikely she'll play. But she's feeling a lot better, which is good. We do, and you know that's that's the great respect that I have for Tara because most programs like that would just pay you twenty grand and say come play us, and you know yeah it, it seems like a, a a huge task going up there and playing Stanford at Stanford, but they will come back next year and play in the pit, and that's why I have a whole lot of respect for Tara. Uh, she's willing to do that, and it's great.